Welcome back to the tutorial for Super Mario Wars. Um, now I'm going to show off one other strat for the ghost house where it's possible to save something between two and three in-game seconds depending on how good you're executing the whole ghost house. Um, this strat is really hard but it's definitely worth it if you're aiming for a time something yeah for under 1030 it's really worth it because you save almost two real time seconds so yeah what you want to do first is you want to spin fly through these two booths and do that oh, that is looking really easy maybe it's looking easy but it's hard as shit um, the second important part besides not losing your cape is the timing so if you're going too slow like still getting through the two booths but still going too slow the second blue ring in the second room won't be at the right spot so you will get hit so you want to go there at the right timing I'm floating a little bit to the left so I get the right angle there it's depending on so many things if you get that or not so now that's one hot like this is really hot now um, you wanna fly immediately through these booths um, yeah so we wanna gain peace speed here by running from here and then here and, we, and then we wanna gain it here not something normally up and then here no we wanna gain it on the first thing here so let me just try to show it that's the strat <laughs> that's looking really hard it, it is hard it's looking hard and it is hard like I did I didn't get it yet in the rerun like just in practice because practice land uh, so let me do slow motion I hope that's okay so So you want to gain peace speed here, fly up a little bit, bonk this wall there or the ceiling. Like that's part. Like sometimes you are flying too high. Wow, <laughs> that's weird. Um, sometimes you are going to hit the coin up there. That's happening, like there. Like that happens if you release a too late, so you're floating up after the ceiling there. Like the timing is pretty tight, it's a pretty hard trick. But yeah, that's like the thing of the ghost house. So yeah, like in my opinion the most important thing is getting like getting through the first room at the right time so the second boom ring is at the right spot. So you're not going to hit because if you are too slow, I think, or too too fast, then you're going to get hit by this first booger there. Like no matter how fast you are flying here, you're still getting hit by them. <coughs> so doing that. That's looking easy now because I got the perfect boo ring there. Because sometimes you're getting hit by by the second fly too. A good method is just like when you're landing on the coin block. Like what I do sometimes and what I did in my last PB. Like if you're landing on the coin block there, then it's possible to gain P speed back or like still having enough P speed to and just fly up. It doesn't waste too much time and and it's a lot safer than flying through the left ring then. Now I just got the perfect, like right here. It's not wasting too too much time. It's a, it's a lot safer. But yeah, the optimal method. See, like that can happen too if you are jumping too early. You want to run for a little bit after you land it. And the second important part to not waste too much time is how you hit the P switch because you can just drop him and jump back on that. What I'm doing is 
that. Like, I jump and then I let go all of the buttons. Let me do that in slow motion. Like, I jump up and let go of all the buttons. And then you're landing on the peace switch. It's not that hard. And, and then you can go into that door. Oh, well, you wanna... Well, and then you get a 370. It's possible to get a 371 if you have a really good timing, but then the timing for the boo ring is a lot harder for the second room. But well, with that threat, it's possible to get a 340 or 341. Oh yeah, that's it for the ghost house with the hardest threats. Uh, next up we got the Star World and yeah, see you in the next video.